Yo YouTube, what is going down? Today we got a review of the Dell S2340M monitor. I picked this up at Best Buy for $170 a piece. I have two right here. And actually I don't have this one hooked up right now. This is running off my MacBook Pro with Retina display and I um, mirrored the image. It is sweet. I really love this display. It is nice, slim, awesome. I love the bezels, how when it's off it's so smooth and it just looks really, really nice on my desk. It really pops out. It's 23 inches which is huge. It makes me feel like I have a cinema display. This is a great alternative if you do not have 900 something dollars to spend on a cinema display or a Thunderbolt display. This is perfect. Now, I will get to the cons. There are quite a few cons to this display. One of them being no HDMI port. That is kind of a big deal for me is instead of just plugging it into my MacBook and being ready to go, good to go, having my Xbox hooked up onto here, you have to buy HDMI to DVI or HDMI to VGA. So I bought two HDMI to uh, DVI online. They should be coming, so that fixes that problem. But it still is kind of a problem not to have an HDMI port on a new monitor, especially when HDMI is all the new technology. So that is the one major con. Okay, I also want to say that after researching, I did find that they make another monitor just like this that has the HDMI port. It's the um, S2340L instead of the M, and that has HDMI. It's going to run you about $20 to $30 more, but if you really think it's worth the HDMI, go get it. Uh, I can return these and then go get that, but I'm just going to stay with these because... I'm happy with the purchase. It's a great, it's a great monitor. Um, not too disappointing. The only thing is HDMI and the flickering. I don't know what the whole pixel flicker con is. If you look on the back, there is no mounting display. So if I decided to get a dual monitor stand or get a triple monitor and then get a triple monitor stand, I'd have to buy an adapter to mount it. Which I mean, so there's a solution for that, which is not a big deal. So thirty dollars a piece to get the mount adapter, and then that works just like it would, would normally. And man, overall, this is an awesome screen. I'm looking at it, it is beautiful. You have to see the picture. You have to see what I have on here to just like, it's unbelievable. It is awesome. And for $170, that is a steal. You can get it on Amazon for $160 and free shipping. So I suggest doing that if you are interested. And if you're on like, oh, should I get this monitor, should I not? Yes, you should get the monitor. Now, if you are just looking for monitors and you don't really know, I do your research, I look at everything and then make a decision. But if you're like, uh, uh, yes, you should get this monitor. It is sweet. Now, looking at the monitor right now, I see all these pixels like just blaring and like flashing. So I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's failed or if it's just because it's so big and it's stretching my computer out. It's like just having a hard time responding or something. I'm not too big into this tech and all this monitor stuff, but something is happening right here. And now, I'm gonna explain to you guys my whole situation. So I went to Best Buy and I was planning to get a 24 inch HD TV or a 22 inch HD TV and hook this up. So I have cable on all three TVs or on all my monitors. So I had TV and then I would be able to hook up my computer. But the guy at Best Buy, he was really, really helpful. He said, no, because it's not going to have the best resolution. Your best resolution would be to get a monitor specifically made for computers. So I did do that. This is LED, 1080p, full HD, man, 23 inches. It is an awesome display. I cannot say enough. It's super thin, so it does not take up much space on your desk. Really, really wide. So it's like, wow. It's just... It, it really cleaned up my desk. I just want to say that. It took my desk to the next level. It like LeBron James that, man. Dude, it was awesome. I'm really, really impressed with this. Once again, the major cons, no HDMI port, no uh, mount on the thing, so you have to buy a mount adapter. No speakers, that's another thing. Although, if you're really into, if you're already having like Affinity or dual monitors, you will have external sound system. So that should not be a huge problem for you. And then retail price on this was $230. So expense is kind of a big thing, but I got it for $170. You can now get it for $160 on Amazon. Go check that out. I'm very impressed. Now, I would get three monitors if I wasn't going to college in a month. So I don't know why I got these two right now. I just figured, wow, maybe they can fit. It's an 
I just wanted, I've always wanted dual monitors, I always wanted triple monitors, so I'm getting these, I'm happy I got them. Um, hopefully I have enough for one on my desk because this really is a huge, huge screen. But yet again, it takes up less desk space and just more of like the air space. It is awesome. I, I cannot like, it is awesome. Um, I cannot wait until my HDMI to DVI cables are here so I can hook it up to my MacBook Pro with a Retina display. It can run both of those right now. I just have an adapter and uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. So I will have a I will have another video out. Just check somewhere else on my channel, this A Jizzy Fo Shizzy channel, of me running dual monitors with my MacBook with Retina display. I will have that up. But this is my review of the Dell S2340 monitor. It's awesome. If you're on the board, buy it. If you're not, um, do your research because it, it truly is a great monitor. I not a big Dell fan. I was. If I went to the store, I'm going to buy a Samsung. I'm going to buy a Vizio. I ended up coming out with a Dell. I ended up happy. Um, yeah, it's an awesome purchase. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. Check out my main channel. Check out my Facebook, my Twitter page. Check all those things out. I'm sorry this is a lot of advertising, a lot of saying the same things. But uh, it gets it in your mind. It says, yo, this computer is awesome. This everything. Go check me out. Blah, blah, blah. Peace out. I don't know why I keep talking. Just peace out. Peace out, guys.